My name is Cassetti Skeen. I am an aspiring Olympic skier uh, trying to represent Tonga for the first time in alpine skiing. So I started skiing when I was 12, it was the first time. I went on a school trip to Kitzbühel in Austria and I fell in love with skiing very quickly. Um, but growing up in London, you don't have many opportunities to ski. So it was a long time until I skied again. And it was thanks to my girlfriend, Anna, and her family, who then reintroduced me back to skiing in Sweden. And I fell in love with uh, skiing once again. Previously, as I did, either as a musician or, or in the opera, musicians tend to keep later hours. We wake up late, we stay up late, we make some music, we have a party. And, and so now I wake up early, I go to bed early, I don't have a party and I have to be very disciplined with my um, life and my physical condition. In the beginning, people didn't think it was true. They didn't think it was real. Also because in the very start, everything is really far away. And so every step, it becomes a bit more real, more and more and more real. But as each step became the next step and the next step, then my friends and and everyone, they really kind of just supported me so much. I, I need a lot of support from, from everyone because I haven't been skiing since I was four for 50 years, 30 years, 20 years. I'm relatively inexperienced, so the support from my friends and family, from everyone, followers, it means so much to me also. This has provided an incredible opportunity for me to realise my dream and also to maybe help them realise their dream. But also I think it's, it's great to work with the smaller companies because they're, they're much more personal, much more like a family. For an individual, then you don't get lost. My necklace is uh, an infinite knot. It's one of the classic uh, Polynesian symbols um, from the islands of Tonga. This particular one was given to me by my brother, so it's quite special for me. My goals are to go to the Olympics, to represent Tonga in a sporting arena that Tonga has not been represented before. Um, and I think that is also an inspiration for people to, to see that you can look beyond your natural boundaries into realms that seem unobtainable. Actually, for a Tongan to ski, it's possible. And for, for people to do anything, it's possible.